What's going on everybody? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Hope you guys are enjoying your week. I bring you more fantastic Konami news because Konami is a company that's worth talking about because they absolutely suck. Anyway, Konami is doing the unthinkable with a beloved Metal Gear Solid series. They have actually <laughs> ported Metal Gear Solid 3 using the Fox engine to a pachinko machine. Yeah, so that really sucks. It looks amazing, but I'm really not loving this. It's like, hey, Kojima, look what we did to your franchise. Suck on this, and people are going to play it. Ha ha. It's, I just, oh God, I hate Konami. They're the worst. Anyway, I'll drop a link in the description. Konami is putting Metal Gear on a pachinko machine because, of course, they are. Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater is running on the Fox engine used to power Metal Gear Solid 5. It looks great. Wait, it's a pachinko machine. Of course it is. You, less than a year ago, we were mourning Silent Hill, fresh off the cancellation of Silent Hills, being turned into a slot machine. Now it's Metal Gear's turn. Creator Hideo Kojima is no longer with the company and onto other projects, and Konami has moved away from the console development for all but its soccer series, Pro Evolution Soccer. The trailer above, you guys click on the link in the description to see it, features footage from Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater running in Fox Engine, and it makes me genuinely sad. The game looks gorgeous. It'll apparently be running on 32-inch high-definition screens. I don't know if that's extra fancy in the pachinko world or not, but at least as Konami perverts the game's 30-year legacy beyond recognition, it's going to look gorgeous the whole time. While I get the decision to leave console development, it's an expensive, slow-burn method of profit. I still wonder why the company is so uncreative with their batch of awesome licenses. They could be licensing these out to other studios. The games might still be bad, but at least we'd know someone tried instead of get pachinko machines. Enjoy this last glimpse of Snake before Konami buries him completely. I 100% agree. Snake is dead. Snake died in Metal Gear Solid 5. Uh, and that is what it is. You can hire David Hayter all you want Konami to revoice Snake in your commercials. You can use the Fox engine that was built around Metal Gear Solid 5 all you want to make this game look amazing. It's a pachinko machine. It doesn't have the heart or soul of Kojima in this and nobody's going to want it unless there's a group of pachinko fans out there who want to experience Metal Gear Solid 5 in some form of pachinko. I I'm just frustrated about it. Actually, I'm not even frustrated about it. You know, they don't have anything that I'm looking forward to. They, they, they haven't appealed to me. They haven't apologized to the consumer. They just took everybody's money and ran with Metal Gear Solid 5. They, they mistreated one of game development's most legendary developers. And uh, they just turned the other way and said, screw everybody. So, I mean, that's really the way I feel about the company. Uh, this is a facelift. This is a face transplant uh, of Kojima's passion onto a fucking pachinko machine and it sucks and hopefully when they do start doing these remasters because of course that's all they're going to be able to do they're not going to be able to come up with new ideas they had kojima working on their two biggest console games uh so pretty much he's gone you know the console aspect of konami is pretty much dead all they're going to do is start porting out their old games like the silent hills games and and, and possibly even older metal gear games and hopefully we stay away from those because all it is is a cash cow. This company is all but dead. You know, if they succeed in other avenues, that's on them. But when it comes to the gaming world, I think that this company needs to be just let go. We got to just let it go. You know, like Elsa would say, got to let it go. These fools are done. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Did you watch the trailer for the Metal Gear Solid 3 Pachinko Machine? You got to you gotta admit, the character models look pretty awesome. Uh, but it's not something I would ever play. I think this is heartless. This is soulless. And in a lot of ways, this is a smack in the face to Hideo Kojima because they know they're doing this to something he's put his heart and soul in. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give a thumbs up, show support for the channel. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe now. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.